I hope you're satisfied with this. This is the worst day of my life. Why? Because you shot Hamilton? No, it's because it's a little me. Yes, because I shot Hamilton! Jesus! I brought you Burr. Thank you, Burr-der. Aaron, no! Ooh, this is probably going to be one of the best ones you've hear. heard. I can't talk. What is this feeling so sudden and new? I felt the moment I laid eyes on you. My pulse is rushing, my head is reeling, my face is flushing. What is this feeling, fervid as a flame? Does it have a name? Yes. Loathing, unadulterated loathing for your face, your voice, your clothing. Let's just say, I love it all. Every little trait, however small, makes my very flesh begin to crawl. With simple utter loathing, there's the strange exhilaration in such total detestation. It's so pure, it's so strong. Though I do admit it came on fast, still I do believe that it can last. And I will be loathing, loathing you, my whole life. Dear Jefferson, you're just too good. <laughs> Sorry, you got a musical number for that. I actually sang that song. Check it out. I was just a little by curious. Well, honey, I'm a little by furious. John, what is wrong with you? Okay, so eventually we're going to have to make it to Act 2, which realize a lot of stuff is going to happen, but I really shouldn't tell you because you'll probably get your poor little bisexual heart broken. <laughs> okay, boys, here he comes, just like we practice. Hmm? Well, if it ain't the prodigy at Princeton College, Aaron Burr, give us a burst, drop some knowledge. <laughs> Oh, you know what? You might want to borrow this. Ew, no one wants your dirty underwear, Jefferson. It's not dirty underwear. It's a white flag, and you might as well start waving it now, Hamilton. The only thing I'll be waving is your decapitated head on a stick in front of your weeping mother. Good lord. So, Alexander, how's that new job of yours? Oh, it's great. I mean, it's fine. Just writing letters every day, away from all the action on the battlefield. <laughs> uh, Mr. Washington even gave me the school mug. Number one aide de camp. I hate myself! Uh, Thomas, Alexander, please grant me just one dying wish. Of course, sir. Anything. Whatever you do. Don't form any political parties. Kiss my ass, you fucking Federalist! I'll see you in hell! One dream of it. What the hell is a political party? Ugh, I'm not gonna die in vain. Oh, uh, hey, Angelica. How are, how are you? I am better than you have ever been, or ever will be. Ugh, she's still mad. Okay, here's the plan. We need to get to the cannon so you first distract them somehow. And then we'll steal the can before they- Wait, what the fuck is that? Um, you? Me? Alex, we need to talk about your drawing skills. Look, babe, I'm a writer, not a drawer. You should know this by now. Pardon me, are you Aaron Burr? Th sir? That depends who's asking. Oh, well, sir, sir. I'm Alexander Hamilton. I'm at your service, sir. I have been looking for you. I'm getting nervous. Sir, I heard their name in Princeton. I was seeking an accelerated course of study. But I got sort of out of sorts with a buddy of yours. I may have punched him. It's a blur. Sir, he handles the financials. You punched the first, sir. Yes! Calm him down! Do something! Wait, like what? I don't know anything! 
Rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bath time lots of fun. Rubber ducky, I'm awfully fond of you. Look at the baby Alexander. Oh no 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 no! Stop! Ouch! Dang it! Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Don't be afraid, sir. Bad pup. That was mean for this man's boot. Is that your dog? Uh, yes, I'm. I'm so. B -b -b Pardon me. Are you Aaron Burr, sir? That depends. Who's asking? <clears throat> Give me a second. I haven't slept in a week. I was weak. I was awake. You've never seen a bastard orphan more in need of a break. Longing for Angelica. Missing my wife. Hey. That's when Miss Mariah Reynolds walked into my life, she said. I know you are a man of honor. I'm so sad to bother you at home, but I don't know where to go. And I came here all alone, she said. My husband's doing me wrong, beating me, cheating me, he mistreating me. Suddenly he's a fan gone. I don't have the means to go. On, so I offered her a loan. I offered to walk her home. She said, You're too kind, sir. I gave her 30 bucks that I had socked away. She lived a block away. She said, This one's mine, sir. Well, I said, Well, I should head back home. She turned red. She led me to her bed, let her legs spread, and said, Stay. Hey. Hey. That's when I began to pray, Lord, show me how to say no to this. <clears throat> Part of me. Hmm? I don't know what I was expecting heaven or the other place to look like. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it wasn't anything like this. <laughs> oh, sh what do I do? What do I do? Yo! Whose baby is this? <laughs> This is so not my. <gasps> shh, shh, shh. Miss Skyler? Miss Hamilton? What the hell's going on here? <laughs> shh, it's okay, it's okay. Shh, shh, shh. shh. There, there, Philip. Mother's here now. Poor thing. Did something scare you? <gasps> Wait. Is he looking at me? <laughs> Hi there. This is so cute. Look at the little baby. Look at the baby Philip. Look at his little freckles. He's so cute. Okay. Oh, uh, this next comic is for 13 and up if you get this. Ring, 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 ring. You still call your father daddy? Um. Hey, Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> Hamilton, wait. Jefferson, what do you want? Well, you... <gasps> Fat me. <laughs> yes. Yes, I will. Wee <laughs> wee. <laughs> I don't ship Jamilton. I just really like this comic because in the end they end up fighting. <laughs> if you ship Jamilton, I'm totally cool with that. You can have your own opinions. And, uh, yeah, ship whoever you want. I'm personally a lamb shipper, but if you ship Jamilton, go ahead and ship away. Psst, girls. Want to see something cool? Ah! My son! Alex, I know how much you love your child, but for God's sake, stop. It was my parents' dying wish before the- You're an orphan? Of course! I'm an orphan! God, I wish there was a war! Hmm? Um... Help me, someone, please. Help me. 
Ah! Ah! Stop! I could have dropped my croissant! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Laughing Alex drinking tea. I, how you say, ship you and Lawrence. <coughs> <coughs> Laugh! <laughs> Did I hear someone? They ship my sons! <coughs> <coughs> this is literally me if I ever find someone that ever. But seriously, this is me. <coughs> Sorry, I gotta take a breather. That. Coughing, yeah, didn't, bleh. I'm a girl in a world in which my only job is to marry a rich. <laughs> yes, I love this. And also, it could be a bit of foreshadowing for my next comic dubs. You never know. Can't find me in a crowded room. This calls for desperate measures. Everyone give it up for America's favorite fighting Frenchman, Lafayette! Found them. Also me. This is also me. Hamilton's skill with the quill is undeniable, but what do we have in common? We're reliable with the ladies. Let us. Let us! Who, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who, who is this kid? What the heck I gotta do to be with you? What the heck I gotta do? What the heck I gotta do to be with you? What the heck I gotta do? Tell me who I gotta be for you to be with me. Moving on. Alexander receives a phone call from Babe. Hi, John, my love. What? Shit! I mean, Angelica. Hello, my dearest. What? Mariah! Mariah is what I actually meant. Apologies. I am the mother of your children! Eliza? I hope that you burn. Dang it! I actually had to rip up a piece of paper for this. Hamilton doesn't hesitate. Fucking fight me, your honor! He exhibits no restraint. And there you go. Those are all my Hamilton comics. If you ever want me to do it again, like or something. I'm fine with anything. So, yeah. Ugh. Hope you enjoyed it. Now, if you recall from this, like I said, it could foreshadow to something else. You never know. Okay, those are all my Hamilton comics, and I have a lot. This was when my Hamilton phase was taking me over. And it's pretty much taking everyone over now, so yeah. And I, I don't really know what else to say. Bye.